Sean Harrod then through Hereford at home in the Cup. Sean, obviously, starting against Barnet, and after a, a, a run where you've not always had the starts, must be very pleasing to have got that nod. Definitely. Obviously, it's been a while since I got my last start, and uh, I was delighted to be out there and be part of a, a three-point win. And how did you feel you, you did? Did you feel sharp still? Yeah, I felt quite lively, to be honest. Um, so it's been a month or a month and a half, and... Um, Stay on 90 minutes is, is a positive outcome for myself. Um, I've, I've kept myself in good shape. I think the only thing missing was a goal. It's a test of, I suppose, patience as well, because there is such competition up front. But looking at the squad, it's now getting that way in midfield as well, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You've got four or five players in each position, and obviously up front, it's just one player that can play on a Saturday afternoon. So that gives the, the gaffer plenty to think about. But there's, there's plenty of players. <laughs> Morning, Sammy. Um, so obviously it's competition all round, and that, that's only healthy for, for the team and, and the club as a whole later on in the season. And a couple of extra days training to prepare for Hereford at home in the cup, which I suppose, if there was any rustiness, it just gives you a, a chance just to sort of, I suppose, ease those aches and pains, doesn't it? Well, it's quite the opposite at the minute. We're doing double sessions in in the week, and then towards towards the game, we, we ease it down a bit. So, um, you know, the players are working hard behind the scenes, and I think that's paying off at the minute. Yeah, I suppose fitness crucial, isn't it? You know, winning games late on as you did against Barnet, that shows the value of it. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, Barnet. It was a, it was a tough game, bad conditions, and and they're down there. But it was a tough opposition Saturday, and and um, it'll be no different on Monday night. Yeah, I was going to say, Hereford, they'll scrap, they'll be up for it and they'll they'll just fight for everything, won't they? Yeah, I've been in their position before when I was at Burton. Um, obviously, we went on a, a good cup run and then to, to go to Old Trafford and they, they know what's at the end of end of 90 minutes, what, what could possibly be you know a premiership football club um, in, in the cup. So we're well aware of the, um, you know, what, what they're going to bring to Monday night. And I suppose the added extra incentive is that by the time you kick off you'll know who will await you in the third round draw yes um, it's Sunday afternoon is it um, the draw so I'm, I'm sure the lads will be sat there watching who who we could possibly play and that, that adds to the, the FA Cup and that's what makes it so special that won't be going through your head though at 7.45 on Monday night though will it no definitely we've got to concentrate on this this um, this game because it's going to be tough they're going to have a good following and, and um, hopefully our fans turn out in numbers and as well as the cameras being there it's, it, it, adds, it adds extra spice to it You've been on the underdog side with Burton what's it like playing the under, are you playing against the underdog because obviously the expectation's on Cheltenham isn't it? Yeah obviously the first 20 minutes is massive they're going to come out all guns blazing that, that we're going to be well aware of that um, but if we can weather that storm and, and then let our football do the talking after that um, there's no, no doubt about our fitness whatsoever so that will look after itself and Hereford they were struggling early on this season but through the autumn they've got stronger and stronger and now they're comfortably mid-table so they'll come into it with form and a bit of confidence well definitely obviously they've had problems off the field as well um, and they've got ex Cheltenham players that are going to want to want to come here and prove a point and we're well aware of that and I know the history of the players there so um, you know it's going to be a tough one but um, I'm confident in, in our ability to, to get a win. Good man, thank you, good luck. Thank you. Sean, you got a draw against United, didn't you, and uh, lost three for I mean, what was that? What was that like to play in the first game? It was really good. Um, you know, that's that's something that will stay in my memory for the rest of my career, um, to draw 0-0 at, um, at home to Man United. is what dreams are made of, to be honest. And, and to go to Old Trafford, and although we lost 5-0, um, it makes it really special. Um, but the lads have been telling me about the Tottenham um, run last season, and you know that's what it's all about. To be honest, did you have any chances? Did you have any chances against United in the first game? I should have had a penalty, to be honest. Um, and we had one or two cleared off the line, so we was unlucky not to win that game. And, and for them to bring Ronaldo and, and Rooney on uh, towards the end, you know, shows what sort of game we gave them. So you know, we're, we're only human at the end of the day, and that's how we look at. You know these these other players in the Premiership. Did you come off with a shirt? Did you get a, Did you get a Man United? Yeah, shirt I got a couple. I got Wes Wes Browns in the first leg, and then I got uh, Sylvester's in the in, in the second. And, and there's good enough to sign my shirt afterwards. So 
it makes it really special for, for players like you know world, world class players to, to come and spend so much time with you after a game once you've competed against them um, make, makes the cup so special yep. Sam Deering's song that you were singing there I mean, it was true at the start of the season wasn't it you were playing regularly <laughs> and scoring at almost every game but yeah. do you think you just need a run of games now because you haven't really it's not like you've been playing every week and not scoring you haven't really had a chance well I think it's no coincidence I scored all my goals when I was playing regularly um, as, as any striker you need to be playing um, and, and I think they'll come again once I get this run Yeah, do you, have, have anyone spoken about Cheltenham's record against Hereford because you never seem to be able to beat them um, nobody's mentioned that funnily enough so um, we'll be looking to put that right um, that's, that's news to me so that, that um, adds things to Monday night for me um, but just really looking forward to it as a whole um, and hopefully getting the win Yeah, and how have you fared in front of the TV cameras in the past when you played in televised games have you, have you done well I've always you enjoyed it well when Satanta was around I always I always uh, scored in my non-league days on, on TV I've scored one or two in the FA Cup against Middlesbrough the other year so you know the cameras have been quite kind to me over the years so um, hopefully I can repeat that again and show what I can do yeah brilliant